Who would be drinking Narragansett lager, show the can they say? Uh, perhaps pipe smokers. Perhaps a man with an oddly shaped mustache who should not be near elementary school zones. And coming up at the end of this brew review, I'm going to rate Narragansett Lager out of five stars. How good of a cheap brew is Narragansett? That's coming up at the end of this video. And welcome back to the beer garden where we've had to move away from the Grand Fig. We've had to move away because everything that God made with wings that stings is in the Grand Fig right now. It's late summer. It's just ripe with figs. The tree stinks, to be completely honest with you. And there are hornets, yellow jackets, bumblebees, uh, every, everything's in that tree, not to mention a, a couple of crows you'll see, and I believe some vultures are in that tree house. It's very bizarre. But anyhow, we've had to move away from the Grand Fig for this cheap brew review of Narragansett Lager, another overwhelming viewer request. Very hard to find, but I picked this up at Publix for $6.99 a six pack of Tall Boys, made on honor, sold on merit. Well, right there, the famous Narragansett since 1890. Sounds like a good old fashioned grandpa beer to me. Trying to do some uh, research in that. Uh, High Neighbor was a big marketing point for Narragansett Lager, I believe. Uh, Narragansett was really popular back in the 1930s to like 1970. Uh, primarily in Rhode Island, it's got its start in Rhode Island, but I was reading the back of the can here, it says brewed in Rochester, no it doesn't say brewed, it says Narragansett Brewing Company, Rochester, New York. Well, uh, but it also says uh, that they are in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. And hey, if you're here because you like beer, and let's be honest, why else would you be? Please tap that subscribe button down below because as you know, I have low self-esteem and more subscribers and followers make me feel really good about myself. And it's just occurred to me, uh, again by accident, maybe subliminal, that I have apparently matched my fashion to the cheap brew can. Totally by accident. Five percent alcohol. How is a Gansett? Well, let's pop the top and see what we got. There you go, a nice crisp, powerful old man opening. As we pour it into the sold out Beer Snobs Cheap Brew Review pint glass, being careful to never touch the vessel to the glass, the vessel from which we pour, bad beer etiquette to touch it to the glass. Or so I've been told, and so I tell others. Remember those like 1970 magazine ads that you see for those 1970s beers like Schaefer, I guess, and Pabst, Strohs, maybe some Miller High Life in there. You got that, the beer even looks old fashioned. Look at all the effervescent bubbles. For those of you already hating on me down in the comments, the glass is clean, people. I just hand washed it myself. So, hey, I don't want to drink alone. Grab a beer. Time for the liquid to hit the lips. Cheers. Probably not the best beer to be chugging after a big meatball and noodle dinner that I just had. Uh, I should have given you the notes before I chugged it. Uh, sort of like a soggy cornflake note. I'm getting notes of closet, perhaps attic maybe. A little bit of mustiness, some hints of aftershave. I can see this possibly pairing nicely with some mothballs. I'm getting visions of uh, an acrylic knitted blanket in bright random patterns that you would fold in half and put on the back of the couch. <coughs> You're getting visions of wood paneling, ashtrays, shag carpet, and low definition square TVs with rabbit ears on top. Who would be drinking Narragansett lager, show the can they say? Uh, perhaps pipe smokers, perhaps cigarette smokers, perhaps uh, a man with an oddly shaped mustache who should not be near elementary school zones, swingers, older people who drive RVs, people who water their front lawn with no shirt on and wear 1980s short shorts with tube socks pulled up to their knees, you know, and it's the simplicity of the beer. Uh, it's, it's not offensive at all. I would put it on the same shelf somewhere with a Hams, uh, somewhere with a Schaefer, 
something like uh, perhaps if you like Yingling, I, I always reference Yingling a lot. So how many stars out of five stars would I give Narragansett Lager? Well, you're going to have to tap that subscribe button first to find out. Go ahead. Go ahead, tap it. Yeah, see, I knew you'd do it. Awesome. All right. Uh, out of five stars, five being a very good cheap brew. Again, $6.99 for a six-pack at Public Supermarket. Do I go four? Do I go four? I want to say that's probably a bit too generous. I'm going to put you at a 3.88 out of five stars. Narragansett Lager. Another uh, viewer request and a viewer favor. Let me know how you feel about Narragansett Lager down below in the comments. Uh, all positive comments, please. And I know there won't all be, but I pride myself on responding to all positive comments. And hey, it's a beautiful day here in the beer garden as we distance ourselves from the stinky and stinging Grand Fig. So grab yourself a beer and you drink that beer. Yeah, cheers.